mechanics mechanics basic units of some quantities mass its unit is kilogram mass its unit is kilogram length its unit is meter length its unit is meter time its unit is second time its unit is second electric current its unit is ampere electric current its unit is ampere temperature its unit is kelvin amount of substance its unit is mole amount of substance its unit is mole luminous intensity its unit is candela luminous intensity its unit is candela some supplementary units have no dimensions no dimensions that is plane angle is radian solid angle its unit is steridian okay some practical units 1 fermi is equals to 10 power minus 15 meters 1 fermi is equals to 10 power minus 15 meters 1 x-ray unit is equals to 10 power minus 13 meters 1 x-ray unit is equals to 10 power minus 13 meters 1 armstrong is equals to 10 power minus 10 meters 1 armstrong is equals to 10 power minus 10 meters 1 micron is equals to 10 power minus 6 meters 1 micron is equals to 10 power minus 6 meters 1 astronomical unit is equals to 1.49 into 10 meters 1 astronomical unit is equals to 1.49 into 10 power 11 meters 1 light year is equals to 9.46 into 10 power 15 meters 1 light year is equals to 9.46 into 10 power 15 meters 1 parsec is equals to 3.08 into 10 power 16 meters 1 parsec is equals to 3.08 into 10 power 16 meters that is equals to 3.26 light years okay one shake is equals to 10 power minus 8 seconds one shake is equals to 10 power minus 8 seconds scalar and vector quantities scalar quantity the quantity which does not change due to variation of direction is known as scalar quantity the quantity which does not change due to variation of direction is known as scalar quantity example mass distance time electric current potential pressure etc vector quantity the quantity which changes due to variation of direction is known as vector quantity the quantity which changes due to variation of direction is known as vector quantity examples displacement velocity electric field etc motion if a body is continuously changing its position with respect to a fixed point then the body is said to be in motion if a is continuously changing its position with respect to a fixed point then the body is said to be in motion there are two types of motions first one motion in one dimension second one motion in two and three dimensions some definitions related to motion first one distance the length of total path covered by a body in any time is called distance the length of total path covered by a body in any time is called distance it is a scalar quantity that is it does not depend on direction displacement the minimum distance between the initial and final positions of a body is called its displacement the minimum distance between the initial and final positions of a body 
is called its displacement it is a vector quantity that is it depends on direction third one speed the distance covered by a moving body in unit time is called its speed the distance covered by a moving body in unit time is called its speed it is a scalar quantity speed is equals to distance by time speed is equals to distance by time fourth one velocity the rate of change of displacement of a body is called its velocity the rate of change of displacement of a body is called its velocity it is a vector quantity it is represented by v and it units are meter per second velocity is equals to displacement by time fifth one acceleration rate of change of rate of change of velocity of a body is called its acceleration it is a vector quantity rate of change of velocity of a body is called its acceleration it is a vector quantity its units is meter per second square it is given by a is equals to del v by del t if velocity of a body is decreasing if velocity of a body is decreasing then the acceleration is called retardation if velocity of a body is decreasing then the acceleration is called retardation or deceleration relative velocity if the objects a and b move with velocities va and vb relative to one coordinate system along a straight line in the same direction v of b related to a will be v is equals to vb minus va equations of motion if a body starts moving with velocity u then after covering a distance s yes, in time t velocity becomes v and acceleration of a body is a then there are three relations between these quantities these relations are called equations of motion they are v is equals to u plus at second one s is equals to ut plus half at square third one v square is equals to u square plus 2 as distance traveled in nth second is sn is equals to u plus half a into 2n minus 1 distance travel in nth second is sn is equals to u plus half a into 2n minus 1 projectile motion it is a form of motion in which an object or particle is thrown with some initial velocity near the earth surface and is moved along a curved path under the action of gravity alone it is a form of motion in which an object or particle is thrown with some initial velocity near the earth surface and is moved along a curved path under the action of gravity alone the path followed by the particle is called its trajectory the path followed by the particle is called its trajectory the equation of a projectile y is equals to x tan g theta minus g x square by 2 u square cos square theta the equation of a projectile y is equals to x tan theta minus g x square by 2 u square cos square theta second time of flight t is equals to 2 u sin theta by g time of flight t is equals to 2 u sin theta by g third one horizontal range r is equals to u square sin 2 theta by g horizontal range r is equals to u square sin 2 theta by g fourth one maximum height h is equals to u square sin square theta by 2g maximum height h is equals to u square sin square theta by 2g force 
a push or pull which can change the position of a body as required is called force a push or pull which can change the position of a body as required is called force it is of two types first one balanced force second one unbalanced forces first one balanced forces if there are many forces acting on a body but resultant of all, resultant of all of them is zero then the forces are called balanced forces if there are many forces acting on a body but resultant of resultant of all of them is zero then the forces are called balanced forces second one unbalanced forces if the resultant of all the force forces acting on a body is not zero then the forces are unbalanced forces if the resultant of all the forces acting on a body is not zero then the forces are called unbalanced forces newton's laws of motion there are three laws of motion newton's first law newton's second law and newton's third law first newton's first law every body retains its state of rest or state of motion until an external force is applied on it this law is known as law of inertia every body retains its state of rest or state of motion until an external force is applied on it this law is also known as law of inertia inertia it is the virtue of a body due to which it until body due to which it tries to retain its state it is a virtue of a body due to which it tries to retain its state is called inertia inertia is of two types first one inertia of rest if a body is in rest then it will remains in rest until an external force is applied on it what is inertia of rest if a body is in rest then it will be remains in rest until an external force is applied on it second one inertia of motion if a body is in motion then it will remains in motion until an external force is applied on it what is inertia of motion if a body is in motion then it will remain in its motion until an ex external force is applied on it some examples of inertia is when a moving bus suddenly stops or apply the brake a person standing in it falls backward second one the person sitting in the bus falls backward when the when bus starts to move suddenly second law the force applied on a body is equal to the product of mass of the body and the acceleration produced in it what is the newton second law the force applied on a body is equal to the product of the mass of the body and the acceleration produced in it that is f is equals to ma or the rate of change of linear momentum of a body is proportional to force applied in the direction of force that is the rate of change of linear momentum the rate of change of linear momentum of a body is proportional to force applied in the direction of force that is f is equals to dp by dt some examples of newton's second law while catching a ball a cricket player lowers his hands to save from getting hurt second one a person falling on hard concrete floor is likely to receive more injuries than one falling on mud or soft floor third one cars buses bogies of trains etc are provided with spring system newton's third law every action have equal and opposite reaction what is newton's third law every action have equal and opposite reaction action and bodies act on the different bodies 
action and reaction always act on different bodies some examples of newton's third law are on firing the bullet the gunner is pushed backwards second one when the boatman jumps from the boat the boat is pushed backward third one in a rocket gases are released with a great speed from its backward due to which it is pushed forward linear momentum the product of mass and velocity of a body is called linear momentum it is represented by p the product of mass and velocity of a body is called linear momentum it is represented by p its unit is kg meter per second of the vector quantity that is p is equals to m into v law of conservation of linear momentum if the external force on a system is zero then the linear momentum of the system remains conserved if the external force on a system is zero then the linear momentum of the system remains conserved second one if particles of masses m1 and m2 move with velocities u1 and u2 before collision and after collision move with velocities v1 and v2 then from the law of conservation of momentum the equation is m1 u1 plus m2 u2 is equals to m1 v1 plus m2 v2 that is if particles of masses m1 and m2 move with velocities u1 and u2 before collision and after collision collision move with velocities v1 and v2 then from the law of conservation of momentum the equation is m1 u1 plus m2 u2 is equals to m1 v1 plus m2 v2 impulse if a force acts on a body for a very short time then the product of force and time is called the impulse if a force acts on a body for a very short friction a body for a very short time then the product of force and time is called impulse this impulse is equals to change in the momentum that is impulse is equals to change in the momentum that is equals to force into time friction when a body slides or rolls over another body or on a surface then a force opposing the motion acts between those surfaces of the body which are in contact this force is called force of friction when a body slides or rolls over another body or on a surface then a force opposing the motion acts between the between those surfaces of the body which are in contact this force is called force of friction work energy and power work when a body is displaced by applying a force on it then work is said to be done when a body is displaced by applying a force on it then work is to be done first one if a body is displaced by a distance s yes, and applying a force f on it then the work done w is equals to f into s if a body is displaced by a distance s yes, on applying a force f on it then the work done w is equals to f into s unit of a work is joule and it is a scalar quantity second one if there is an angle between the direction of force and direction of displacement then work done w is equals to f into s cos theta if there is an angle theta between the direction of force and direction of displacement then work done w is equals to fs cos theta in cgs system unit of work is x in cgs system unit of work is egg 1 joule is equals to 10 power 7 x 1 joule is equals to 10 power 7 x energy 
capacity of doing work is called energy capacity of doing work is called energy because work is done by transforming of energy because work is done by transforming of energy so unit of work and energy is same that is joule unit of work and unit of energy is same that is joule the type of energy are mechanical energy mechanical energy chemical energy solar energy nuclear energy and light energy the type of energies are mechanical energy chemical energy solar energy nuclear energy and light energy there are two types of mechanical energies there are two types of mechanical energy first one kinetic energy the energy of a body by virtue of its motion is called kinetic energy the energy of a body by virtue of its motion is called kinetic energy if a if a body of mass m is moving with the velocity v and the momentum of the body is p then kinetic energy is half mv square that is equals to p square by 2m if a body of mass m is moving with velocity v and the momentum of then kinetic energy ke is equals to half mv square or p square by 2m second one potential energy the energy of a body by virtue of its position is called potential energy the energy of a body by virtue of its position is called potential energy the gravitational potential energy is equals to mgh the gravitational potential energy is equals to mgh law of conservation of energy according to this law energy can neither be created nor be destroyed according to this law energy is neither be created nor be destroyed but one form of energy can be converted into another form but one form of energy can be converted into another form power is rate of doing work is called power the rate of doing work is called power it is a scalar quantity power is equals to work by time power is equals to work by time unit of power is unit of power is watt some other units of power are 1 kilowatt is equals to 10 power 10 cube watts 1 megawatt is equals to 10 power 6 watts 1 horse power is equals to 746 watts 1 horse power is equals to 746 watts universal gravitation this newton's law of gravitation what is newton's law of gravitation the force of attraction between two objects is directly proportional to the product of their masses and inversely proportional to the square of the distance between them the force of attraction between two objects is directly proportional to the product of their masses and inversely proportional to the square of the distance between them that is f is equals to f is directly proportional to m1 m2 by r square that is f is equals to capital g m1 m2 by r square where capital g is equals to universal gravitational constants that is equals to 6.67 into 10 power minus 11 newton meter square per kg square capital g is equals to universal gravitational constant that is equals to 6.67 into 10 power minus 11 newton meter square per kg square acceleration due to gravity when a body falls freely then the increase in its velocity per second is called acceleration due to gravity when a body falls freely then the increase in its velocity per second is called acceleration due to gravity it is represented by small g capital g gravity it is represented by small g small g is equals to capital g m by r e square small g is equals to capital g m by r square
where m is equals to mass of the earth and r is equals to radius of the earth change in value of g first point the value of g is small g is minimum at equator and maximum at poles the value of small g is minimum at equator and maximum at poles because it happens due to the shape of the earth second one the observed value of g at the latitude lambda is the observed value of small g at the latitude lambda is small g lambda is equals to small g minus r e omega square small g lambda is equals to g minus small g minus r omega square cos square lambda at equator lambda is equals to zero therefore small g lambda is equals to small g minus r omega square at equator g lambda is equal small g lambda is equals to g minus small g minus r omega square at poles lambda is equals to 90 therefore small g lambda is equals to small g at poles lambda is equals to 90 therefore small g lambda is equals to small g third point value of small g at a height h above its surface decreases value of small g at a height h above its surface decreases therefore small g dash is equals to g by 1 plus h by r whole square small g dash is equals to small g by whole square that is equals to small g lambda is equals to g, small g into 1 minus 2 h by r e g lambda is equals to g into 1 minus 2 h by r e fourth point value of small g at depth h below its surface decreases value of small g at depth h below its surface decreases small g lambda is equals to g into 1 minus h by r e small g lambda is equals to small g into 1 minus h by r e satellite the heavenly body which revolves round the planets is called satellite the heavenly body which revolves round the planets is called satellite example moon these are of two types these are of two types satellites are of two types first one natural satellites second one artificial satellites what is meant by escape velocity the minimum velocity of a body that should be given to the body to enable it to escape away from the earth's gravitational field is called escape velocity the minimum velocity of the body that should be given to the body to enable it to escape away from the earth's gravitational field is called escape velocity it is denoted by small v e s escape velocity is equals to root of square root of 2 gm by re v e s that means escape velocity is equals to square root of 2 capital gm by r square that is equals to root of 2 small g re that is equals to root of 2 small g re the value of escape velocity for its surface is 11.2 km per second the value of escape velocity for its surface is 11.2 km per second simple pendulum it is a heavy point mass suspended from a rigid support by means of an elastic inextensible string it is a heavy point mass suspended from a rigid support by means of an elastic inextensible string is called simple pendulum the time period of a simple pendulum is the time period of a simple pendulum is t is equals to 2 pi root of l by g the time period of a simple pendulum t is equals to 2 pi into root of l by g where l is the length of the pendulum capital t is the t is a t is a time period of infinitely long simple pendulum oh sorry the time period of a simple pendulum t is equals to 2 pi root of l by g where l is the length of the simple pendulum 
the time period of infinitely long simple pendulum the time period of the infinitely long simple pendulum t is equals to 2 pi root of r e by g that is time period of infinitely long simple pendulum t is equals to 2 pi root of r by g 2 pi root of r